What's going on, you guys? We just wanted to give you a quick tour of our boat office. So we're on board our boat, Adrenaline. I'll link to the full tour somewhere in one of these corners so that if you guys haven't seen the tour of our boat yet, you can check that out. But before we get into the tour of our boat office, the first thing I want to mention is that every all of our electricity comes from these solar panels right up here. So that's pretty cool. We don't have a generator on board and we rarely have to run the engines to charge everything we need to charge. 95% of it comes from the solar panels. When it's a cloudy, stormy day or two in a row, we might have to run the engine for a few hours. Before I even step into the office, I just want to mention that the toughest thing about working on the boat is having the distraction right here, that crystal clear blue water. All right, you ready, Sierra? So here is our boat office. Oh, hey, office dog. Good girl. All right, so it's a little bit of a mess right now. We're both on computers doing some work. What you got? Editing some pictures, answering some emails, and doing some video editing. So we have our drone, drone battery charging, our GoPros. This is our whole electrical panel and all our miscellaneous wires and SD cards and everything are laying around. Once the electricity goes from our solar panels, they go into our batteries, which are down there. And then this is kind of how we control everything. So this is all DC power and we can charge like our GoPros and phones and stuff from this little outlet right there. The drone remote is charging. And then for all like the conventional AC powered stuff like this charger and our computer chargers here, they go to that box, which plugs in to our inverter in here. And that takes the electricity from the batteries and turns it to 128 volts AC. And then we can charge our computers and everything. It's pretty important to us. We have all this footage and everything. And sometimes we can't upload it right away. So we have to make sure it's saved on a hard drive and external as well as on the computer. Just in case something happens to one of them, we don't lose all that hard work. We we put into editing a movie or the photos we got. Our office coffee maker. Conventional drip coffee pots just take too much electricity. So we're in our office, but how do we get internet? We bought a little Bahamian BTS, BTC, BTC. BTC SIM card and inserted it into an old iPhone and that's our hotspot. It's so, like $35 for 15 gigs. Yeah, so BTC is like the Bahamian, like Verizon or AT&T or whatever. It's their mobile service. And how much was the card? $25. $25 for the actual SIM card. And then you just have to top it off with however much money you want. And I forget how much calls and texts are. They're not ridiculous, very reasonable. And then data, which we use the most of, is about $35 for 15 gig gigabytes of data. And that's generally at high speeds, 3G or 4G speeds. But the limiting thing for us is, or for anyone using the BTC service, is how close you are to a cell tower. So it's cool being out here in the Bahamas and away from everything. And that's where we get our best content. We just have a blast just being away from all this civilized islands and stuff. But every few days or once a week or whatever we we try to go to an island where there's a tower we're actually in the berry islands right now right next to chub key and you can see there's a tower on the horizon way over there so that's pretty good we get good service from that tower over there you can pretty much everything's pretty low lying so you can pretty much just look around and see if there's a tower within range if you can see a tower you probably have service um, and then the closer to you, you are to that tower, the better service you have. So like when we're in Marsh Harbor, we have really good service. Hope Town's pretty decent. Um, right here next to Chub Key is pretty good. In Nassau, you have perfect service. So that's how we are able to like upload our videos and answer emails and do all that stuff from our boat office. Our boat office sink, our boat office fridge in there. It's a little messy in there. If you have to take the pillows down. Boat office bookshelf. <laughs> this room is such a mess right now. I should clean it, but whatever. Office snacks. Another tough thing about having your office on a boat is that 
especially on this boat we don't have air conditioner or anything so we tend to keep all the windows open for a nice fresh breeze and just keep the air circulating and not let anything get stagnant but being around all the salty air all of our chargers not our computer chargers yet but all of our iPhone chargers and GoPro chargers tend to get a little just a little bit of corrosion so it's sometimes it's a pain in the butt so you got to clean them once in a while to make sure they get a good connection and, and charge so the other tough thing about having our office on the boat is that we don't really have a schedule. We don't have a, we don't work a nine to five, and it can be tough sometimes balancing our play, our work, our which involves editing and making sure we're, we're recording enough and uh, taking pictures, and then answering emails and comments and all that stuff. So how do we organize what we do? Find the weather. Yeah, we pretty much, if it's beautiful weather out, we pretty much try to get outside and, and take some footage and have fun and, and record. If it's rainy out, we're pretty much generally in the boat doing work. At night, we do some editing and some of that type of stuff. And it's kind of just a balance of, of making sure you're ahead of schedule with our editing and, and uploading videos and making sure that we're having fun and getting out there and getting some content and sailing and getting to our new places. It's also, when we're sailing, we can get some work done if it's not too rough. If it's too rough, I, we, we get a little seasick. We can't stare at a computer for hours and hours. But we can record, and if it's calm, I can kind of do some editing, especially if Sierra's on the lookout or if we're in big body of water where there's not a lot of boats around, they'll just kind of edit and look up every few minutes and keep editing or uploading. Fans are also super important in our boat office because like I said, we don't have air conditioner so they just keep the breeze going and they're DC powered fans, 12 volt fans, so they don't take a ton of electricity. Our daily commuter. If we ever need to just take a break from work and just get outside the office and get on the office patio, just come up here. Ugh. One of the most important things that we do because our office is on the boat is that we outsource. So we do all our own content, we do all our own editing, we do all our own social media, all of that stuff. But one of our main sources of, our, of income are our apparel that we have, and we are not great graphic designers, so we kind of outsource that graphic design work to other people. And there's no way we're gonna carry any amount of t-shirts or, or, or our apparel on the boat. We just don't have the space, and to mail it out when we get orders would be ridiculous, especially when we're in the Bahamas. So we teamed up for, with a couple companies, um, Peligro Sports makes our apparel. They do an amazing job. And then we have another uh, couple who do our fulfillment and they're absolutely awesome. We set it up through WooCommerce and our website where people can order on our website and then our fulfillment center gets the orders. All they have to do is put the, sh the apparel in a package, print the label and then mail it out and that's in the States. So that makes everything very easy. And we just kind of have to keep uh, mild communication between those guys. But they do an awesome job and I think that's definitely key, especially if you're, you have any like hard goods or even any businesses to outsource. All right guys, it's, it's a beautiful day. Look how clear this water is. Look at that. That's amazing. Our work's pretty much done for today. We're gonna get out there and have some fun. Make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel and make sure you have the little bell symbol so you get alerted when we have new videos. We shoot to have a video out every other day, which is tough, but it's a good goal and we usually reach that goal. If there's 30 days in a month, we usually have 14 videos out, maybe 13 if we're slacking a little. Um, and it kind of gives you a peek into our everyday adventure and boat life and all that stuff. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.